The race is on. BYUSA recently held elections for its new president, and reporter Kristen Firmage got in on the action. The U.S. presidential election may be well over, but there was another stimulating battle of politics happening right here on BYU's campus, the BYUSA presidential election. Someone approached me with the idea, and I just laughed. I was like, no, not going to do that. And then after a while, I thought about it, and I just thought of like the potential that BYUSA has and like how we could be doing so much more, but we weren't. And I decided that was why I wanted to run. So I've been involved in BYUSA for over a year now, and I had an experience in BYUSA communications where I was able to see every area, what they do, and work with every area. And I noticed a lot of changes I think would really help make BYUSA more irrelevant to a lot of students. It was a presidential race between Amberly Acey and her VP Austin Jones and Brandon Beck and his VP Erica Nash. Amberly is the worker and I'm just the pretty face. No, I'm just kidding. Brandon and I are both involved, we've both been involved for a really long time at BYU. And we realized that Although we kind of come from different segments of campus, we really share the same vision for BYU. Each team based their campaign off three main initiatives that they wanted to implement into BYU student life. Amberly and Austin focused on getting a vending machine in the library, an all arts pass for events at the Harris Fine Arts Center, and organizing student activities off campus, such as mountain biking in Moab. My favorite is the all arts pass, because uh, I feel like that can really touch a lot of students for a long time. And it, I think it'll help the art department to have more people who go. Brandon and Erica want to get students more involved by tailoring opportunities to each student, making a BYU calendar that has all the events in one place, and they also are working with the mayor to address predatory towing in Provo. I think all of our initiatives really will connect with different segments of the student body, but I think the most important to me is our first initiative, which is expanding opportunities for students to lead and be involved. With only a few days to get votes, the candidates hit campus to spread their desire for change. Would you mind just taking 10 seconds to vote today? Sure. So just go to vote.byu.edu. I want to library. And once we talk to people about our initiatives and what we plan to do, like they're super excited and willing to vote for us. So it's all about like talking to people, getting them to be aware. For students, voting for BYUSA elections has always been very simple. They just have to get online and it literally only takes about 10 seconds. When the polls closed and every last vote was counted, Brandon and Erica came out on top as the new presidential pair. And now they're looking for students to join their team at BYUSA. We're looking for a diverse team. So we don't want everyone that thinks the same way we do so that we can um, hopefully kind of combine the synergy of everybody and make sure that we, we um, have good ideas. We, we want people who are, are passionate about BYU who are grateful for the opportunity they have to, to attend here and, and who are serious about making real changes happen. There are BYUSA spots open for applications through March 22nd. You can apply online or in the BYUSA office. Kristen Firmich, BYU Weekly.